Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm um, just dropping in to do my uh, weekly informational brief. This week we had choose a famous inventor, and I chose Leonardo da Vinci, which is also who I wrote my essay on. This guy, I mean, he was like Frank touched on earlier with the medical thing, was just an all around genius. Most people only know him for the paintings, Mona Lisa, The Last Supper, The Man in the Circle, um, what they call the uh, Lady on the Rocks. But he, I mean, he did much, much more. This guy is actually responsible for some of the first true studies and renderings of, you know, human anatomy. He was dissecting cadavers, mapped the heart, pregnant infants in the womb, and all sorts of stuff. And he also did a lot of wartime engineering for dukes, lords, you know, king of France, even the pope of the church back in his day. You know, he was alive from, what, I think it was like 14, one second, I got it right here, 1452 until he finally passed in 1519. And throughout that time, I mean, he spent traveling, working for different people, all sorts of dukes, lords. King of France, the Pope, and he ended up painting, designing a lot of wartime engineering. Some of his early works are like the tank, and he's got drawings of what is basically modern weaponry, just, you know, with the best technology available to him at his time. This here is his, like, repeating cannon fire, so you wouldn't have to cut down on reload time, be able to do massive amounts of damage. Got an early design of a helicopter there. There we go. One of the first flying machines, like gliders, he designed for people to kind of ride in and fly away. Here's the tank. Real old school, got a you know, four wheels inside, completely lined with cannons, so you can shoot 360 degrees like modern tanks. Here's uh, the human heart he ended up dissecting and drawing and mapping out. <laughs> One of my favorites here, dude. The giant crossbow, or ballista, as it's called. It was like 86 feet long, had like a crank and a worm gear, lever action. You could just crank that sucker up, pull the trigger, hit it with a hammer, whatever, shoot one off. Then he mapped the wound of the child and the... And that's all the pictures I got here. But, I mean, this guy was incredible. He did things from, like, you know, the bike to making weapons out of gunpowder and stuff that was just unheard of at the time. I mean, this guy was truly, truly beyond his time. Think of what he could have accomplished today with technology being the way that it was. I mean, a lot of these were just exactly what it was. Just schematics, blueprints, drawings that he didn't really get a chance to build just because he didn't have the technology available to him. So, I mean, that pretty much sums it up in a nutshell. There's, I could go on forever. Leonardo da Vinci has uh, left quite an impact on the world. As most people know, you learn about it in just about every history class you've ever taken. So, Leonardo da Vinci, guys. Y'all have a good class. I'll see you next week.